John Hill from Consolidated Tattoos in downtown Flint. Yeah. When I was in like 2005, I was in my senior year in high school. I bought a little tattoo kit because I was getting tattooed at the shop at the Gypsy Queen in Owasso. So she sold me some equipment. I just started tattooing like my stepdad, some of my friends. I took a, about a year off, didn't do anything. Then I got an apprenticeship in Fenton at a shop called Hoosier Donnie. And I worked there for about a year and a half. Who's your Donnie? Why'd you call that? There's a dude, the guy's name that owned it, his name was Donnie. <laughs> Donald Morrison. I didn't really know what to do. I had, uh, since I got tattooed pretty frequently, I got uh, a little info from that and I just started going to town. I like my friend's legs, my stepdad's legs. Kind of learned as I went. Have you looked, have you looked at your stepdad's legs? Yeah, they're not looking too good now. <laughs> <laughs> nowadays. I fixed some up though. Just a lot of them still look pretty crappy, but everyone, you know, when you start out, you gotta have some crappy ones, I guess. I got tattooed by uh, Chris Hornis, who owned the shop from up until about 2007. And when he left, he offered me a job, so I just quit Donnie's and came to Flint. Cause I get tattooed there anyway. It was a better shop, cooler area. Right when he left, I took his spot and everything. And then uh, Jason, who my partner is now, he just kind of took over ownership for Chris. And I just worked for Jay for about a year. Then I became a partner. Um, besides me, Eric, I used to like, Oli, I used to work with him at Donnie's in Fenton. And after like a year after I was there, he came, he came over too and he's been there ever since, probably 2000, 2009, early 2009. But other than that, uh, we haven't really had, I mean, Jay's been there since 2004 and uh, me since 2007. So we haven't really had anyone. There's been other dudes that work there, but they uh, they just like worked a couple years and took off, went to other shops. And... So you don't have any plans to bring in, you don't, you don't ever like see someone at some shitty shop and be like, no. try to poach them? No way. We, we have the three dudes we work with now and no one really around here does the kind of stuff we do. I mean, they do like this flash and stuff like that. So three, three is all we need. It's all the room we have anyway. Is three dudes. So. Hey, um, speaking of Eric, why do they call, why do they call him Old E? They, <laughs> they call Old E Old E. He looks uh, pretty unfortunate for a 37 year old man. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't watch this. 
What's his name here? <laughs> like he doesn't know people. Let's just say him. everyone's shocked when they don't when they find out he's not 55. <laughs> we have Davey. He's Jay's apprentice. He's from uh, he's from Waterford. He drives up from Waterford every day. And we have uh, Zach. Zach Thomas. He has a nickname Cockfoot. He has a uh, his uh, some stuff tattooed on his feet. Why we call him Cockfoot. They do all the all the cleaning, we, all our uh, sterilization and stuff like that, like tubes. And if we have stuff we need to order, we just we could easily do it ourselves. We just tell them to do it. They just, I don't know, they love it. I'm sure they don't. <coughs> it's the it set us up to do tattoos, break us down, when we're done. To put everything away, make everything clean. As far as like the shop, why we've done, we've put new floors in. Like the walls are all painted, new flash and stuff like that. We had a piercer. There's been a piercer there since '99. Now there's a there's a barber shop in the basement, which my friend Zach Zach Minock is getting that in there. It should be open around January. They're putting the floor in and the ceiling and stuff like that. He's cutting hair though for sure down there. It's gonna be sweet. I mean, for like the traditional style stuff that we're doing, there isn't. There's no one in Flint that does that kind of stuff. I mean, you're gonna have to go to Ann Arbor. Or, like anywhere in Detroit, you know. But usually the shops around Flint are usually most, like they're all, all the same. Do this, whatever's on the wall. So why is that? Why, why are they all the same? I don't know, I might have to ask them. <laughs> Cause it doesn't seem like you're being fun at all. No, they just, they have a lot of stuff on the wall. You pick off the wall, bring a picture in your own. That's usually what you get. We have, we have a lot of stuff on the wall, but our, we're all 100% custom. We, we do the stuff off the walls, but it's usually stuff we do anyway, so it works out good for us. Yeah. So was there like a conscious thing where you guys like decided like we're gonna be different, we're gonna, or you just wanna do what you wanna do and you just always kinda been that way? We just, we like to do like the traditional stuff that we like doing. We do a lot of stuff that isn't, you know, for, not everyone likes that stuff. We need to accommodate to them, so. How do you like, how's it working in Flint? Cause you're not from here. No, it's I like it. It's a little more exciting. Like if I say I work in a Wausau or something like that, it's boring over there. You get a lot of characters coming in the in the shop downtown here. It makes it worth it. For right now, it's for as far as I can see, I'll be there. You know, everyone I work with is pretty awesome. Good area downtown. I mean, it has it has a bad rap. I like it down there. It does have a bad rap. Yeah, I never. I've for the years I've been there, I've never seen anything. I hear about it, but I've never seen any crime or anything down there. I know it's out there, you can, but I haven't seen anything. Do you think it's worth it to stay where you're at? Oh yeah. If I go any other shop, I'd have to meet more people, and I just I don't like that. I already had to go through that once. I'm I'm set for a couple more years. Is this what you plan on doing forever? Yeah. Oh yeah. Tattooing forever. That's it. No, I don't have retirement, so I have no choice. You know, old man, till my back gives out, then I'll just, I don't know, nothing. Well, maybe if you're old, you get like arthritis and you get disability because that's your job. Well, well listen, um, that's, what, that's my retirement then. That's what I'm looking forward to is uh, arthritis. Because <laughs> <coughs> that's all I got. <laughs>